the show, please welcome Emmett Crazy Kenny! You can record me, just don't ask me questions like first 48. Me being black, I'm used to that. Um, before I begin, no one's safe, no one's safe in here, okay? So I just want to begin with Marcos. I don't know if you saw his uh, jersey. Stand up and show me your jersey. Stand up and show me your jersey. Say YMCMB. Oh, Lord Jesus. Young Mexicans crossing Mexican border. <laughs> I'm glad I'm sitting in front of him, because I know he got his legs open with that dress on. I couldn't help but notice that he has a tattoo on his shin, so like a guy. But if you look at the guy on his leg now, his eyes are closed. <laughs> he must have looked up. <laughs> happy to be here. I'm always happy to be in mixed crowds. Because when I do a lot of shows, it's in front of black crowds and we talk about y'all and now I can talk about you in front of your face. <laughs> No, I like my white friends. I got white friends. I do. Really, I do. And um, I play jokes on them. Because I really don't play jokes on them. I try to find out their friendship. <laughs> so I invite them over for barbecues and dinners. And then when they get there, I feel like I don't know them. <laughs> so my family be like, who is that? Put that polo and docker jeans on. Like, I don't know. That's my P.O. Put the weed out. Put the weed out. <laughs> I like this room. <laughs> it reminds me of special ed. <laughs> See, you're not even a part of the rest of the building. <laughs> the I feel at home now. Thank you for the warm welcome. How many people, since we had a new year, how many people seriously was afraid that the world was going to end? Good, because I wasn't either. <laughs> and it's crazy because you know, I was watching the news. No offense, but white people, you got to go overboard. They went to Kmart, bought every damn thing. Generators, water, <laughs> canned food. Now you got enough shit for 2016. I was happy. I was happy that they picked the date, the 21st. I was happy. Because I didn't buy my kids shit for Christmas. <laughs> That got me away with some shit. I was like, why, why? This is the end of the world. <laughs> so I sent out postcards to everybody, and I said, if we make it, next year I got you. <laughs> it's crazy. We live in a crazy world. How many people still got their parents alive? Why? Why? Okay. December is always a bad month for me because my mom passed away two years ago on Christmas. Yeah, but even in even in tragic events, don't you always have somebody say something stupid? Like I remember being at my mom's funeral and she's in a casket and I'm sitting there and I'm crying and I'm leaving my heart out. My aunt comes behind me and she says, "Wow, look at her. She looks so peaceful. Looks like she's sleeping." <laughs> I turned around and I said, "You obviously don't know your damn sister." She snoring like a damn bear. <laughs> Looking like she's peaceful. I just took my mom's hand and slapped shit out of her. <laughs> like I said, I like this room. And how many people are vegans? No vegans? No vegans in here? Oh, good. I was just going to ask a question because my last girlfriend was a vegan. But she still gave me oral sex, and I didn't. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> she didn't like me. Oh, 
like it. It's real fun. Comedy is always good. It's good for the soul. I was coming out. How many how many people got raggedy vehicles? Now I do. Be honest, because the parking lot is not filled with new cars, okay? I have a real problem with procrastination. Like right now, at this very moment, I'm supposed to be having sex with my girlfriend. But I put it off to be here. My procrastination is terrible. My procrastination is so bad. Have you ever put things, like, I have a raggedy vehicle, so I just put things to the side. Like, I got 15 lights on my dashboard. Don't even bother. Check engine, check oil. Don't even bother me until shit happens. <laughs> you ever looked at the check engine, the check engine light just blinking at you? So I put the kid's picture in front of it. <laughs> then I'm driving down the street. Then all of a sudden, that's when you get your priorities right, when your car stops on you. Like, Damn. I know I should have got that check engine light fixed. <laughs> I am a procrastinator. And like Vicki Lynn was up here talking, she said she's afraid of the dark. Well, I'm not. In my household, I was afraid of the light. My mom has strict rules. Turn them goddamn lights off! What do you need a light on for in the day? So right now, I'm kind of paranoid. I'm working on that. How many people love kids? <laughs> no. Because I'm going to need a babysitter. I want to stalk my ex girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I, I like my white friends and I like to take them through things to really know if they my friends or not. So I told I went over my one of my friend's house. I'm not going to say his name, Brian. But I went over his house and I noticed, I looked in his house, I said, you have a very lovely house. This is nice. You got the big screen TV, leather couch. Yeah, all kind of nice stuff. And then I said, wait a minute. You don't have one black person on your wall. And he was like, okay. He was like, you don't. I said, no, that's not true. Because every black person has one, at least one white person on their wall. I have to have two. I have a picture of Jesus and JFK. <laughs> <laughs> so I decided, I said, okay, since he wants to be like that, for Christmas, I sent him a big photo of Martin Luther King. <laughs> and on New Year's, this asshole sent me a big picture of James Earl Ray. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I had a little trouble getting out of the seat because I just had a birthday and I turned 40. Woo. I know, I don't know what to do. And ever since I've had my birthday, my body just taking a shit. <laughs> it's just acting weird. My back is acting up. And I have to do certain things. You know when you're getting old, you have to do certain things differently. Like I have to stretch before sex. Yeah. <laughs> and Vicki Lynn talking about she's a narcissist. Narcissist. I am too. I'm such a narcissist. I don't even need my partner for sex. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about me. What do I need you for? We should practice safe sex. How many people practice safe sex? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> And just because you're married, you what? Don't have to use don't have <laughs> This is why we're in a special ed class. <laughs> I, too, practice safe sex. I use sanitizer every time I masturbate. I don't know where my hands have been. And shaking hands and digging in my nose, I don't know. <laughs> I have to be safe. 
Right now, I have a condom on. I don't know where my draw has been. I know I'm getting old. Shit, I had to take a nap before I went to the club. Just so I wouldn't fall asleep in a bar. You also know you're getting old when your whole wardrobe changes. You don't wear stuff for fashion. You wear it for comfort. And some of y'all people are wearing comfort clothes. I like this. I like attention. I like getting everybody look at me. I'm still in it. <laughs> no, it's, it's because I know it comes with the territory of being black that everybody's looking at me. Mm. And <laughs> how many people No, we're not going to say this. <laughs> Regardless if you did or didn't vote for Obama, he is the president now. And I know yeah. I know that all y'all looking at me and <laughs> guessing who I voted for. <laughs> You're right. I voted for Obama the first time strictly because he was black, period. I didn't have to hear about nothing. I just wanted to get him in there. The second time, well, I was a little more cautious because he kind of disappointed me because he didn't do enough black stuff. <laughs> I was waiting on that black moment to come out of me, especially during the second um, debate. How many people thought that he was going to cuss? <laughs> he was this close to cussing. He was like, no, Mitt, Mitt, that's not, that's not true. That's, you mother, I just want to cry. <laughs> he didn't do it. How many people believe that he was the first black president? Yeah. I know we're in special ed, but bear with me. We're going to learn some stuff today. He was not the first black president. History class. Bill Clinton was the first black president. He did black stuff. He smoked weed. He cheated on his white wife. He listened to jazz, played the saxophone. He got his dick sucked on the job. Then he even tried to get his wife in the job he used to have. That's black shit. <laughs> so, I'd like to thank you for this time. You've been a great crowd. And my name is Emmett Crazy. And look me up on Facebook and make me your friend so I can tell my employer I do have white friends. <laughs> <laughs>